A six-year-old girl is turning a lot of heads tonight. She's a member of a youth football team in Ohio. Reporter Madeline Adi tells us more about how the player got started in the game and what her teammates are saying about her skills. But that's good hustling. It's a calm and quiet night in Fairfield. Ah! And the Indians ah! are hard at work. Ah! We have 25 kids. Ages range from five to seven. And Josie is certainly the only girl. I'm really good at playing football. This is Josie Stamper. She's six. Catch it. She plays tight end on offense. Love it. And is on the defensive line and plays linebacker on the other side of the ball. She's the only player with a ponytail. I was kind of hesitant. I at first tried to talk her out of it. But Josie was begging to play after watching her brother play football last year. I asked her if she wanted to play uh, flag football, and she said absolutely not. She loved tackling. Let's go. They've all been hit by her, and none of them like it. She got a lot of sacks, and she's good. She plays hard. Three. Josie holds her own, both on the field and off. My favorite part is she's kind. The kid makes very few mistakes. Her strong suit would be she always gets back up. This practice comes at a pivotal moment. The team is vying for a playoff spot. We tagged along for game day at Northwest High School. Josie's in red, number two. She wants it so bad. The clock ticks. There you go, Josie! Josie converts not one, but two two-point conversions. The Indians clinch the win. Fairfield Indians are going to the playoffs, baby. There you go, Tim! While the season comes to a close, Josie is just getting started. She taught me not to judge uh, the stereotypical thought process, you know? Girls don't play football. This girl plays football, and she's probably one of my top three best players, period. Proving it pays to play like a girl. Girls can play football, and it's not even a problem I can play.